As we've been telling you, temperatures have been steadily on the rise here in the low country, and health experts want you to know how to stay safe in the heat. News 2's Kivan Dupree is joining us live from the News 2 rooftop. And Kivan, you talk to experts to tell us how people are staying safe. It's a dangerous heat out there. That's right, Brendan. Local experts say hydration is the most important thing, especially for those who will be celebrating outdoors this holiday weekend. The heat is on across the low country. Now we're looking at heat indices approaching 110, maybe up close to 115. Local officials encouraging people to drink plenty of water ahead of the scorching holiday weekend. Definitely stay hydrated. Um, start if you're going to come out to the beach, you know, think about going ahead and, and hydrating, you know, now. Health experts say failing to hydrate in advance could be costly. The moment you start to feel thirsty, the moment you start to feel like oh, maybe I should have been keeping up on my hydration, you're probably already behind. Trident Emergency Department's Assistant Medical Director, Dr. Kenneth Perry, says excessive heat exposure can lead to heat exhaustion or heat stroke. This is when people stop perspiring, stop sweating, when they have a really dry mouth. This is when you really, your body has attempted to do all its normal auto regulatory things to keep your body temperature down. And then now you just don't have those options. Perry says another sign someone is experiencing adverse effects from the heat is when their mental state changes. Someone seems confused or delirious. This is gonna be a major problem and something that we've, we definitely need to evaluate the patient for. With thousands expected at the beaches from other parts of the U.S. through July 4th, first responders want to ensure people are well prepared for the hot, muggy conditions they'll be subjected to. Typically, you know, when it gets around, you know, 2, 3 o'clock, you know, that's the where it's, it's really, really difficult out there. So you want to try to come out earlier in the morning, you know, later in the afternoon. It's a lot easier. And when you're out here, you know, every 20, 20 30 minutes, you want to be um, having, you know, drink some water. And health experts say it's especially important for parents to keep an eye on their children and make sure that they remain hydrated as well during these hot, muggy summer days. Reporting live in Mount Pleasant, I'm Kevon Dupree. Count on two.